Hey traders, this is William and I have the best hotkey you've ever seen. I'm actually sincerely excited to show you this. I'm just going to show you right now and then explain it later. Watch what this can do. Starbucks. Bang. Do you know what this is? Oh, it's beautiful. This is an entry long into Starbucks with an equalized risk and a stop added to the original order where if I'm wrong, it'll automatically stop me out. I don't have to make a separate order and it's attached with a profit target based off of a ratio of your R. And it does that all in one hotkey, all by itself. All you have to do is double click and hit the hotkey one button. Woo, it's amazing. It is so amazing. I know a lot of you know what equalized risk is and you already know that hotkey from Kyle, but this hotkey is a continuation of that and it does everything. It adds on the target. If you're a three to one trader, you can set it to three to one. Check it. Let's test it out here because I set this as three to one for me. So let's check the math and make sure everything worked perfect. Okay, my entry is 79 even my stop where i double click you can see right here it shows me 78.92 and right there 78.92 so let's type that in 78.92 and then i've got my handy dandy spreadsheet that shows me 3r should be 79.24 this should be 79.24 bam it is okay beautiful right all in one hotkey do you know how many problems this fixes if you can be disciplined enough to use it and then not do anything and only trade good setups? Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. Does it work for a short? It does. Okay, let's try it with Facebook. Let's double click here. Oh, and did it, sorry, did it do the right amount of shares? 1,250 shares should be the exact amount and sure enough, I got 1,250. Okay, Facebook. Double click wherever you want your stop. Bam, now this is a one-to-one -one hotkey with the same risk. So if I'm wrong on this one, I lose one R. And if I'm right on this one, my target hits at one R because the ratio here is one R for the profit target. I can set this for five R, I can set this for 10 R. You can change that to whatever you want but it does everything on its own. When the target's filled, the stop is canceled. When the stop is filled, the target's canceled, okay? Do you know everything this does? You don't have to micromanage trades. You don't have to hover over a keyboard. You don't have to set another order after you enter and you don't have to calculate shares. You don't have to revenge trade something because you're micromanaging the trade and think, oh, it went, it, it stopped me up, but then it started going up. Nope. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to get emotional because you might not be staring at it as much. You don't have to make another decision once you're in it because you've already made the decision. You get to just follow your plan that you set outside of the market. And this hotkey now allows you to execute that so easily. Usually it's very hard to follow our rules. We have to do step after step after step. Now we really just have to find the right setup. We have to have patience and discipline for the setup. Then we have to remember exactly how we want to put our stop based on the setup and the pattern. We need to know what kind of R ratio we want for our target. Bam. We hit the hotkey and it does everything else for us. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, let's just check the, star uh, the Facebook short just so you know that it works equally as well. My Facebook entry was, did I already get, Nope, it was 26403, 264.03, oops, 264.03. My stop where I double clicked, again, you can see it right here or on the chart is 264.87. All right, so this tells me how many shares I should have, 119. Yep, 119. It shares with me all my R ratios. The 1R is 26319, same as my target on the hotkey. So you can see it works perfectly. This does it perfectly. We've worked out all the kinks. Shout out to the guys who created it. Kyle, so many years ago, you created the original hockey. Thank you, man. Nickname The Fake, you popularized it and introduced it to me. Thank you, man. Uh, DOS helped Kyle create it. And then 
so thanks to DOS. And then I've always wanted this. I've always wanted an order with a stop and a target. And most platforms couldn't even dream of doing it, let alone use the equalized risk in the hotkey as well. Usually you have to enter in and then do a range or an OCO or an OTO order. This does it all at once. So thank you, DOS. And specifically from DOS, Jason helped me figure out, because it's kind of complicated, how to attach the range order onto the entry with the stop and have everything work as we would want it to work. So thank you all. This wouldn't exist without all of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. So the hotkey will be in the description for the long and short. And all you have to do is copy and paste it in. Now I'll set the hotkey just so there's no mistakes for a one-to-one -one where the, the target is always a one-to-one -one and the risk is only $10. Just in case someone makes a mistake, it's a very little loss. Okay, but I'm gonna show you right now how you change that. Okay, so go to setup, go to hotkey. Okay, so now I have my hotkey. We'll go to the long hotkey. So I'm gonna assume you know how to do hotkeys, you know how to add it. In case you don't, and this is very new to you, I'm gonna add in these videos right here and I'm gonna put them in the description so you can click on those links and you can watch them. It goes over everything, how to set up your DOS platform to allow this function because there's a whole lot you need to do and it'll walk you through everything. I'm not gonna walk you through that now, but I've done it in the past, okay? Watch those videos. If you already know all this stuff and you've already used the hotkey and you're pretty um, proficient at it, all you have to do is copy and paste this in and start to use it just like you would the other hotkeys with the equalized risk. But so the first number here, the first number you're gonna see after S share equals 100, that's your risk per trade. That's gonna be what equalizes your risk. So change it to whatever you want. You can change it to 3,450. And then every time you lose, that's how much you'll lose, okay? You can change it to $10, which is what we're gonna do. It doesn't matter what you do. That's the dollar amount to equalize your risk, whether you trade Google, Tesla, or a $10 stock like AAL. It'll calculate the shares for you, okay? Now, at the end of the script where you see this other number, right here, okay? This is the only other thing you change. So two things, that first number and this number. This is the R, stop price times three in this specific long is the ratio for the profit target. This means it'll, add on the target at three to one we could change it to five to one i'm going to change it to we could change it to 20 to one right you can change it to what you want but i'm going to change it to one to one and then we're going to hit commit that's the hockey i'm going to put in the description okay now on the short it's the same thing the hockeys are slightly different but same idea right s share equals 100 divided by price that is going to be 10. okay then we go near the end of the script and we find the the final number here, which I think is already at one. Yeah, it's already at one. Remember, it could be changed to six, but we're gonna change it to one. That's the target. That's the profit target ratio. Commit, okay, bam. Whew, it's nice. This is such a nice hockey. I'm very, very excited to show you all of this. I know you're gonna have questions. We're gonna do a workshop where I'm gonna answer everything live for people. Um, um, in the bearable traders community to help them get this going. So I'm looking forward to that. And if you have any questions, you know, ask in the comments. Yeah, if you have any comments, this is just awesome. I'm very, very excited. You know what, for fun here, tell me something. Tell me why in the comments you think this will help your trading. Will it help you get over this issue? Will it help you get over that issue? Will it solve one thing for you? Will it allow you to like be hands off and be less emotional? Will it allow you to not partial early? Will it allow you to, you know, instead of partialing at all, only use your one exit for an all or nothing, all or nothing. You know, let me know how this will help you. I'm very, very curious. Um, thank you all so much. I'm really excited I'm able to share this for you, uh, with you, and I hope you all utilize it correctly. Thanks.